how do you feel about pregnancy guru 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 we're not oh, what are you it's, he's like what again girl i was in the emergency room oh my god am i possessed if i didn't i wouldn't be here me are you oh my god what kind of question is that and have you decided on a baby boy's name yes hey guys it's naka so I'm chilling on the rooftop and I thought why not do a Q&A I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me any questions pertaining to my pregnancy so we're gonna get right into it mate what would you say the most difficult part of your pregnancy journey is everything mate for those who don't know I've had a really rough pregnancy like the first trimester I basically lived in the hospital but now it's getting a little better I can eat more food so for me the hardest thing is staying positive like mates there's days where i literally just i want to cry and stuff like that but i'm over that like being sad just it's tiring mates being down all the time so i get tired of being sad so it's just keeping my mind positive and just knowing that i have a couple more months to go so for me it's been staying positive because sesame can feel all my emotions mate so i gotta keep a sound mind okay next question just want to know about your surgery you went through for the cyst like what was the size so I think it was like four and a half centimeters five centimeters and I didn't do surgery thank god mate it's like I was very scared but um, I took birth control my gynecologist recommended taking birth control and I also changed my diet and I did a water fast for a week and um, I did a bunch of like things just to help me so I'm not sure what really helped but the birth control like really really helped me so I would recommend like talking to your gynecologist and also getting a second opinion from another gynecologist to see what will help for me both of the gynecologists that I spoke to um, suggested birth control and like they just suggested birth control but I did extra things so that's what I did okay this question do you feel how do you feel about pregnancy guru 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 mate I don't know what it is, but like ever since I got pregnant, I'm always in the mood, mate. I'm chasing after Dominic. I'm like, let's go. <laughs> Guys, Dominic's sitting right there. That's why if you see me looking at like there, I'm like looking at him. But yeah, it's so weird. Like it's like you always want to do it. Well, for me, and I was like, oh my god, am I possessed? Like what's going on, mate? But I'm always pouncing on my man. Like sometimes I'm joking around. I'm like, oh, you trying to do it? <laughs> he's like what again and i'm like he just kidding but i'm really not kidding <laughs> so for me like it's just like a lot of hormones and i looked it up online because i was like what's going on mates apparently it's normal it's not a lot of women that go through this but some women like that hormone increases so that's definitely been like for me it's been bumping and grinding mates so i know a couple women that they they feel like uncomfortable and stuff but mates I'm up and popping, so I like it. Obviously, like the first couple times we did it, like the first two times, I was a little so self-conscious. I was like, oh my god, mate, like, never gonna be. Like, I don't know how confident I feel, but Dominic makes me feel really comfortable. So I think it just depends on your partner and like them understanding that, you know, like your body is not the same. But you know, my man loves on me and he makes me feel good. So it is what it is. You can't do like all the you know like certain positions and stuff like we're not doing acrobatics here this is basic like you know basic stuff means you get what i mean so there's no acrobatics here we're not oh what are you here it's literally like you know you guys know right so next question mates are you doing a baby shower and have you decided on baby boy's name yes i am doing a baby shower you guys so i wanted to thank everyone that bought from our registry mates the amazon packages are here i really want to open it and see but we're gonna try not to open the packages like i'm so excited sesame like you guys went full out for sesame so we're gonna open um the we're gonna show the gifts and then we're gonna open the gifts on camera to see what you guys got and yeah i'm super excited for the baby shower i have to get my dress you guys i have so much planning to do like babies they have a lot of events like who would have thought and then for baby boy's name mates um we're still thinking about names but there's one name that me and dominic really really likes but i'm not sure we're gonna see how sesame is like i really want to look at sesame and see if the name goes with him so we're gonna pick three so so far we have one name picked out we need two more so comment down in the description bar below like names i like really like unique names you know i don't want him to have like 
a name that everybody has but i also want him i like short little simple names so yeah comment down in the description below what names you like and maybe i'll find something in there how did you deal with morning sickness if you had any girl i was in the emergency room that's how i dealt with it i was on that bed like injecting me please medication all over like i couldn't breathe i couldn't like it was too much i dealt with it at the hospital girl so that's how i dealt with it i went to the hospital i was bed rested and then i had a nurse come to the house because if i didn't i wouldn't be here mates also um dominic was injecting me injecting me with medication as well so i was heavily on medication so sesame is a warrior mate he made it through so <laughs> the next question is are you having twins mate does it look like i'm having twins yes it does it looks like i'm having triplets so um no i'm not having twins you know what's funny my mom was talking to me on the phone the other day and she was like you know watch you're gonna give birth and then there's gonna be a second baby down there and we're laughing about it and i was like please don't say that like that's not funny <laughs> so <laughs> no i'm not having twins like it's just one baby mates so it is what it is everyone keeps thinking i'm having twins i'm like guys don't put that in the universe we're not in the twin zones anymore next one will you teach sesame swahili um, I'll try the best that I can, but there's no promises. I used to be like, yes, I am. But then I thought about it and I'm like, mates, y'all know I'm not going to speak to this baby in Swahili. Like, I don't know, mates. I'm going to see how it is. I'll try my best. But obviously, like, if he's on FaceTime or, like, talking to my parents, they, they're going to speak to him in Swahili. So I think so. My brothers, they're like, but my Swahili is like, it's not the best. So I don't know. I want to say yes, but probably not next question would you like more children in the future um i'm gonna be honest right now <sighs> maids my pregnancy it's been so like i don't know i don't want to talk shit with sesame in my stomach right now because he's gonna have revenge tonight and gonna box me out but i don't really enjoy it so far right now it's not bad and you know i have really really good days but then when i have bad days it's horrible you know so <sighs> I don't know i'll get back to you guys once i give birth and let you know it's just right now i'm not thinking about more kids and i don't know how to answer that question because obviously yes i do want more children but i don't see myself doing going through pregnancy again like if i'm being honest like completely honest it's just not something that i see myself doing again like from the bottom of my heart but i don't know we'll see once i'm holding sesame maybe i'm gonna change my mind but that's just how it is people think i'm joking when i say that but i'm like that's literally the truth like <laughs> you know so i don't know i'll see how i like having sesame next one will you have a maternity photo shoot yes a hundred percent i am are you oh my god what kind of question is that we're gonna we'll do maternity shoots but the thing is like here in pv where we live it's hard to find photographers because we live in a beach town right so I don't know how where i'm gonna find a photographer but if we don't then i'll just get dominic to take pictures of me on the rooftop with my belly or something like that it is what it is <laughs> next question do you feel that you will get enough emotional support when the baby arrives um i don't know how to say this but i feel like i'm gonna get too much emotional support like there's gonna be like too much and i'm the type of person like i feel like after birth i'm just gonna want to kind of like be in my own little zone but yeah i'm grateful that i have like my parents are gonna be coming my brothers are gonna be coming so it's gonna be like a lot of people there my friends are coming so yes i'm gonna get like a lot a lot of support but i'm really excited to see everyone because we live i live far from my family like they live in ottawa and i live here so i'm excited to get all the support so i'm like i'm gonna get too much support but there's no such thing as too much you know so better too much than none at all okay next question did you have any small bleeding or spotting in your first trimester is it not normal i have it and i'm scared um i didn't have any spotting or anything like that but um i did read that some sorry guys so i did read online that some women experience spotting so don't be alarmed i would say if you see any bleeding or spotting go to your gynecologist mate. It's like it's very important in the first trimester like to go to your gynecologist like i want to see the gynecologist i feel like every three days like every, like 
four times a month when I was in the first trimester but I was also very sick so that's different but I would say like make regular visits with the gynecologist in the first trimester because it's like that's like the most crucial part you know so if you see any bleeding or any spotting call your gynecologist make an appointment so you know like there's no point in going on Google and, and stressing yourself out go to the professionals mate next question are you nervous about having a baby slash giving birth no mates i tell people all the time like birth like giving birth is what i'm excited most about this pregnancy because it's over like i tell myself like <laughs> and i was talking to my friend about it today on the phone like once i hit like labor oh my god i'm gonna be so happy you guys because it's done i won't be pregnant i'm about to give birth i can have my body to myself like it's going to be the best day of my life and i get to meet sesame like come on me it's like and to me it's like um my midwife was telling me like birth is all mental and i well i was gonna say i'm very strong mentally but i like to think that if i'm prepared for something i can do it the only reason why i had like breakdowns and i really didn't like it the first trimester is because i didn't know that you could be sick to death you know having a baby so i wasn't prepared but now that i'm prepared and i know what to expect and i know that it's going to be extremely painful but it's you're at the finish line like it's done mates i'm excited i count down the days till this baby is out of me mates no i'm not scared i'm not scared of the pain i know it's going to be extremely painful and i know i'm probably not going to like it so it's just like but then it's like what else is new you know so <laughs> it's already been too much this pregnancy so to me birth it's just it's i'm done i'm it's it's over mates and i get to meet my baby like come on mates that's exciting next question have you already put together your labor bag girl i'm giving birth in the living room and nobody got time for a labor bag mate so my labor bag is my living room but i did get um a labor kit so i'm gonna i have all my stuff picked out i already ordered it i'm mates i'm ready for labor i told you guys like that's something i look forward to i already have everything planned out like it's on and popping like <laughs> i'm ready mates next question naka i want to know how many weeks were you before going to your first scan so for me my first scan i was i'm not sure like don't quote me on this because it's been so a while but i think i was six weeks because i think five weeks i felt good and then once i hit like six weeks that's when everything came crumbling down so but I, I went to the emergency room so yeah it was like that so that's what it was and then they were like oh yeah you're pregnant your baby's so strong like na, na, na. we see the little they, they heard the heartbeat at six weeks like pounding strong too i was like damn sesame like he was ready he's coming like this baby he was meant to be here and i'm excited but yeah guys that was everything i'm so excited to meet my little baby a lot of you guys asked me if i was excited of course mates i'm excited to meet sesame like he's literally half of me and half of dominic put together the best of the best i mean i know he's gonna be funny he's gonna be kind he's gonna be caring like he's just gonna be an amazing human being and he's gonna bring so much love and positivity into this world like and he's going to be so strong like this is a strong baby up in here mate so i'm excited despite all the sicknesses and despite me not liking pregnancy i love my baby and i'm excited to meet him and honestly guys i can't wait to see what this motherhood journey has for me so thank you guys so much for watching this video and hanging out with me thank you to everyone that bought us stuff from our baby registry like you guys are amazing and me and sesame say thank you so we'll see you in our next video Toodaloo. bye